Hi everyone, today we're going to make a snowflake video. So all you need for this is a piece of paper, and I chose a blue one, it doesn't have to be blue, um, something to write with, and then either cotton balls or um, if you have marshmallows at home, those would work too. So I'm going to move the screen down so you can see. I've got my piece of paper, and I'm going to, first I'm going to write my name on it. And then you could do this like we've talked about in other videos, doing the hop on, um, doing hand over hand assistance, um, support at the top, depending on how much help you may need. So I'm gonna write my name. I kind of ran out of room there, but there I got my name on there. And then our next thing is we're gonna make first a vertical line and then a horizontal line and then kind of like so you kind of made a T or a cross and then some diagonal lines across those and you may have to have your helper might have to to write this for you and then you may trace over it doing the same methods that we just talked about hop on hand over hand support at the top of the marker so I made kind of like a snowflake shape. I'm gonna make two of those. So again, we're gonna do the vertical line, horizontal, and then the diagonal lines. Oh, and you know what? I just remembered one more thing I forgot that we do need is some glue. Let me go grab my glue real quick. Okay, I'm gonna grab my glue. So glue, you can, if you have the, like the liquid Elmer's glue, that works probably better, but if not, you can use the, the stick glue will work too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my snowflake that I just drew on the paper. Like that. So if you're using marshmallows at home, all you're going to do is pick up the marshmallow and place it on the glue. Since I'm using cotton balls, I'm going to use my these pincher fingers and rip apart the cotton ball. And then I'm gonna place it on the glue to make the snowflake. And if you have other stuff at home, you're welcome to use it. Like if you have glitter, that might make it look more fun. I'm gonna keep kinda using those pincher fingers to rip apart the snowflake. Or rip apart the cotton ball, I mean. Make sure I cover up all my glue pieces. Got one more. So there's that snowflake, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to squeeze the glue bottle, and some of you might need a helper to help do this. Sometimes the glue doesn't come out very good. There's my other snowflake, and then again, I'm going to rip up my cotton ball. Push it on my glue. You might get a little glue on your fingers, but that's okay. Right, so there's my two snowflakes and if you wanted to you could just put more glue on this paper and do like tiny little snowballs. So I have a couple of glue spots and I'm gonna we'll do one more cotton ball here because it doesn't have to be in that snowflake shape. You could really do this any way that you want. This one just kind of helped if you're working on your pre-writing skills making the horizontal and vertical lines for those um, snowflakes. All right, and there's my little snowflake picture. I hope you guys had fun making this and um, hopefully we'll get some more snow outside soon. Okay, bye everyone.